In this video, we'll talk about how to begin practicing gratitude. If you're convinced of the benefits of starting regular gratitude practice to transform your life, you'll need to know how to begin. It's very easy to say, be more grateful, but putting that into practice can be harder than it seems. Often, we don't naturally focus on the positive, so learning how to do that can be a bigger challenge than you imagined. Here are some of the top tips to help you start learning to cultivate more thankfulness. Start journaling. One of the best ways to reap all the benefits that gratitude can bring is to notice fresh things to be grateful for each day. One of the most effective ways to put this into practice is to start a gratitude journal. Gratitude journaling is effective because it can slowly change how you perceive situations. It adjusts what you're focusing on. You're probably always thankful for having your family, for example. But if you simply write that each day, your brain won't stay on alert looking for new things to feel thanks for. Instead, get specific. Write exactly what you're grateful for about your family. So instead of just writing, I'm thankful to have my family around me, write, I'm thankful that my husband brought me flowers today to make me feel happy. Or I'm thankful that my sister asked me to come over to her house for dinner tonight so I wouldn't need to cook after my long day at work. Open your eyes to the world around you and you'll find that your gratitude practice becomes greatly enhanced. Soon you'll get a thrill out of noticing brand new things to feel thankful for every day. Try mental contrasting. If you're excited about all the benefits gratitude can bring, that's a positive thing in itself, since it gives you a boost to begin making the changes that need to be made to invite the positivity into your life. Yet you need to maintain momentum too. It can become all too easy to lose interest or to fall at the first hurdle when practicing gratitude feels too difficult. When you need to achieve something, Using the mental contrasting technique can be just what you need to succeed. Mental contrasting involves being optimistic about your new practice's benefits, while also staying realistic about how challenging it might be to build that habit. It's something that helps you to put in more effort when it's needed most. Recognize the obstacles in advance that might get in your way. Plan for them effectively. If, for example, you know that you're exhausted just before bed, Accept that it is not the right time for you to focus on your gratitude practice and instead reschedule it for a morning time. Try new ways to express gratitude. Practicing gratitude needn't take the same form for everyone. In fact, learning how to be thankful is a deeply personal thing. So don't feel limited to just journaling your feelings and thoughts. It might be a good place to start, but soon you might want to move on to try something different. Or for some people, journaling might not have the desired effect at all. There are many creative and new ways of tracking the things you have to feel gratitude for. Do you need some inspiration? How about setting up a gratitude jar? Simply take an empty jar and every day write one thing you're grateful for and pop it into the jar. At the end of the year, you empty the jar and take another look at all the things you wrote. It's a meaningful way to highlight those key moments of thankfulness and then, when you read them back, you can relive them and reinforce them in your memory taking gratitude to the social level. The relationships that we form with other people lie at the heart of our happiness and satisfaction in life. Therefore, it makes sense to consider other people when building our gratitude. Rather than thinking about material items or different circumstances that you feel thankful for, try thinking about the people you're grateful for instead. This can enhance the benefits you experience. You can take the social element of your gratitude to the next level by actually involving other people in your practice. Try writing gratitude letters to people who have had a positive impact on your life, but who you've never said thank you to properly. Or why not share the moments that you've been grateful for each day with your loved ones at the dinner table? When you involve other people in your gratitude practice, you spread the positivity, strengthen your relationships, and enhance your own well-being while also boosting others. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.